over here what's going on what's cracking music got you pumped everybody pumped what's going on guys yes yes props that's right saluting the masters here we got two out of the three masters as of right now master parish is on his way jacks the original jacks he will be popping in a little bit later Right, you might choke me out, do some uh, some some punches. I don't know what will happen. You might Match punch the ground. You might you might punch the ground, and the whole live stream may go off. We don't know. We don't know what's don't gonna happen. Know. But we have two of the masters here, Master Marquez. Welcome what's back, up? my friend, Master Pasena. Welcome to the show. And we got the young master, Cryptic oh. Soul J in the house. That's what right. Up? Killer's yeah. blood. Represent everybody here. Having a good time today. We're getting ready to talk about. Uh, the newest Mortal Kombat film, and, uh, and 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 much more, many many more. Let's see who's here. The movie Dojo Army showing up on the side here. We got oh, director Ranjit says, "What's going on, guys?" What's he up? says he's he says he's ninety minutes early. He's saying hello for now. He's gonna come back later. We got I Love Food, Omni Blast, Jake Hall in the house. Brand new channel member. Thank you, Jake Hall, for becoming a member of the channel, showing support. Fet seventy eight, Eric Planter, and uh, Mr. King Palma. Fet. Stella 13, Doom Deus. That's right. Nigel, all the badasses here to hang out with the Masters and the Young Dragon Cryptic Soul. Yeah. All right. Hey, all before, right. Uh, before we begin, can, sure. can I just uh, say something quickly? Go for um, it. Today is uh, my lady's birthday, Stella. Ah. Oh. And uh, I just say? want to wish her uh, a happy birthday. And I hope that everyone here can wish her a happy birthday from around the world. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Happy I, was birthday. Ready, I was ready to sing yeah, right now. It's his birthday. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Get Happy here. birthday. Oh. Yeah. Happy birthday. Nice. Awesome. Like, if, you, if you're going to say get over here, I mean, she's going to go over to your house and then I'll be like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> You got, got to be able to fly like Raiden, man. Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Look at that. We got people in chat saying happy birthday right now. Look at that. Support. That's right. Everybody yeah. in chat Thanks, saying buddy. happy birthday. There you go. Movie Dojo <laughs> Army showing up representing. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it a little bit here. But before we do that, it is an honor to have all these masters here today. Uh, Daniel, just before before we get into the movie and your thoughts on the film. Now, my audience already knows. I've already did a review, spoiler review. I've already ranted on what I didn't like. <laughs> I, already, I already highlighted what I did like and the positives of the film. Uh, so my audience already knows. So my audience today is here. The Movie Dojo Army is here today to kind of hear what you guys have to think about the film and your thoughts on it, positives and negatives, and what you think they should change and do for the for the future sequels, right? So they're, they're here for you guys. I'll bounce in here and there once in a while because uh, I'm the host. Fuck it. But <laughs> just let you guys everybody knows what I think already. Uh, but uh, a little bit, though, uh, Daniel, Master Pesenia, how did you get into martial arts? What were some inspirations for you? And how did you get involved with uh, the video game industry? Yeah, you know what? As far as getting into martial arts, I, I am a little bit – older than than tony tony's like three generations younger than me what are you, what are you turning like da da danny is like one of the elder gods it is what it is <laughs> it, hey, you know the universe formed around danny and so that's what it is so <laughs> let's start it from there <laughs> yeah so i actually fell in love with martial arts growing up uh scene during jackie Ch i mean uh charlie chan the detective black and white tv series black back in the day when there was no color tv and I saw him do this judo throw, and I just fell in love with martial arts, and I was bugging my dad to take me for lessons. Later on, actually, Bruce Lee, you know, made a big nice. impact on me with the Green Hornet. And even, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that really got me into the martial arts, you know, as far as martial my martial art journey beginning. Officially, it began in 1969. 
So it was a while ago during a different era. Nice. And so, yeah, that, that's my, basically that whole thing. And also my, I have two older brothers, not Ray and Ray's the younger brother, but I have two older brothers and the oldest brother collected comic books and I would get to read his comic books. So I was like a comic book geek and nice. which I, I handed down to my little brother, Carlos Raiden, who later on became friends with a guy named John Tobias. And they would draw at an early age when they were like in high school, you know, for first, first and second year in high school, they would draw at my mom's kitchen table sometimes. And they'd go to home to home and be drawing at the table. And sometimes I'd watch them because that's like, besides musicians, artists, like artists who draw the graphic artist guys really, really impressed me just because of the skill it takes to, to really and the sacrifice to do that. Because doing martial arts, I know what sacrifice is. You know, your friends are going out. Tony can, if you hear Tony's story, you read his book. We wouldn't, nobody would want to go home. We'd be working out for four or five hours and then keep working out because I wouldn't want to be the last guy to bow out, to be like, oh, I'm tired. I wouldn't even say I was tired. I could, we couldn't kick. And we you couldn't, couldn't the, would you, go. you couldn't be the first guy out. There, there's no way. Somebody, you know, the sun has to be coming up and something has to go on. But yeah, if Danny's working out, I'm working out. If I'm working out, Ho-Sung's working out. If Ho-Sung's working out, Carlos is working out. Yeah. Nobody quits. Nice. This is what it was every yeah. day. Nobody quits. Seven days a week, probably at least two times a day. It was like craziness to have this thing. But anyway, so with them, late, years later, uh, years later after I did stunts for the Turtles, uh, John called me up and he's like, you know, because uh, uh, he was my brother's friend, but he, I hung out with him a few times. And uh, one time during uh, during when he was first in college, he wanted to do a Kung Fu movie. And he asked myself, my, Raiden and Kano to do the action. We weren't Kano. He wasn't Kano yet, but he wanted to do this movie. So we're like, okay, let's do this movie. He's going to direct it. And then, you know, I'm going to put the choreography together. So we're driving out to, in the forest reserves. And as we're turning in, this car hits, hits John Tobias' dad's car, almost kills Rich Kano. Oh, it no. was really almost on his door. And we spun out. The car was totaled. But we never got to finish that project. So John calls my parents home. And he's like, hey. And finally, I, I talked to him. And then uh, he was like, hey. And we're just talking. He's like, hey, remember that project that I, I wanted to do? And I, we laughed about it. And he's like, but now I work for a video game company. And I want to do a live action video game. And I was like, ooh, but we're, he's like, but I, they actually have to know martial arts. And so I was just like, I could help with that. And he's just like, <laughs> we can't pay you a lot, but you know, anything you create, we're going to put in the, uh, everything you create or want to contribute to the game, we're going to put in the game because, you know, we're, we're going to pay you an hourly wage, but really we can't afford, you know, you guys came off of doing stunts. We can't match any, any real, you know, mo money besides yeah. you know, the small, and it's going to be a small project. So I was like, okay, you know, what do we need to do? So basically, I met with him, looked at his drawings. I took Carlos Rich and myself uh, and uh, because, you know, they were John's friends and we choreographed some moves and we presented that to Midway. So, nice. So after, we, after John presented that, he called me a couple days later and he's like, hey, Midway is interested, but you know, they're, they're interested in doing a fighting game. And at that time when I heard him, I was like, oh, there's something else going on. There's like some other game or some kind of ideas. And he's like, you have to bring your best ideas to this meeting because we're going to meet with the Midway representative. So, you know, John is like, I'll take you guys out to pizza and we could just talk and you get to know each other and kind of let's, let's finish pitching this game. So we show up and I get, and that's the first time I met Ed Boone. So Ed Boone is going to listen to us pitch this game. So we're just, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of pitching the game, giving them ideas. At that time, John finished the game that had blood in it. So we wanted blood in it. We wanted uh, x-rays in it. We wanted like different things in it. At that, uh, at that point, uh, John was like, what, you know, he's like, man, you know, I, he was like, I told John, in order to really make it special, we have to take the Japanese ninjas and turn them into the Lin Kuei. And John was like, what? And I told him all about the Lin Kuei lore and how they mix martial arts with mysticism and how cool it would be to be in a video game. And, you know, we chatted for a while. And at the end, uh, 
Uh, John is like, hey, do you think any, you, can you find some other people to, you know, I can't pay him, but can you find other people to do it? And right away, I was like, I could get Tony and Hosan to do it. He's like, man, I cannot pay them. I was like, just for a favor and just for the fun of creating this, I, I know they'll do it. You know, so right away, even without Tony's permission, I kind of dragged them in there. And same thing with Hosan. I kind of get, give them the get over here uh, yeah. to do that. But in the end, John called me up and he's like, oh, this game is canceled. They decided to go with a mainstream fighting game uh, with John claude Van Damme. So Power Project is canceled. Ah. So that was the first round. Later right. on, naturally, naturally, he calls me up later and said, hey, you know, I, I, re I remember because it was pretty funny. Uh, to pass, so it's like, Jean-Claude Van Damme actually wanted money to be in a video game. And this game, this company is so cheap, you don't want to give them any money. So he, can you still help me with my idea? You know, and I was like, okay, let's do this. So we got yeah. together and we started. All right. Okay. Nice, nice. And it and it, then it, the magic began. That's right. But uh, playing Johnny Cage, the original J uh, Johnny Cage here, I always, I already thought that was great and that was a lot of fun. And then I found out later that you also played all of the ninjas. You played <laughs> Scorpion, OG Scorpion, OG Sub Zero, Reptile, you know, Smoke Noob Cybot. I mean, that's really 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 awesome. So this is a treat today, uh, chat everybody watching right now. We got the original OG Kung Lao. That's right. JC Scorpion in the house and hopefully <laughs> Mr. Parrish, Master Parrish will be here uh, soon. He's on his way. But let's go ahead and get in, into it now. Into talking about the newest film. But hold on, we got some some comments here. Hold on a second. We got Do you know uh Joe Valley from Media Glitch in the house? He's saying what's going on, oh, Daniel? Yeah. Hey, hey. What's up? What's yeah, up? He's, oh, hope your project is going well, man, brother. Yeah. yeah. You know? Gotta get a shout out to Joel here. He's saying what's up to Master Piscina here. And uh Ranjit, director Ranjit is back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. MK team in what's the up? house. Oh it's yeah. A it's a party. It's a party today. Everybody's having fun. All right. Oh, here we go. He is the only Johnny Cage. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a lot of fun. All right. So I'm gonna go. To Master Marquez, the original OG Kung Lao, the the first legend. What did you think about the newest movie? And we could talk spoilers. The movie's been out for a while. Talk about whatever you want. Oh yeah, love it. Love the glasses. Love the glasses. Uh, there yeah. you go. There you go. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, what did you think about the movie? You know, um, um I really loved how it opened. Okay. I I was totally on board all the way uh, until. Uh, they killed Reptile, and then by the time oh, so I, I love that. I actually loved uh, that whole thing. The whole you know, Kano wins the whole the whole nine yards. Uh, by the time they got to when they met Liu Kang, yeah. and then from there on, uh, they kind of lost me a little bit to tell you the truth. Okay. Um, but a couple of things that I want to jump into right away. Uh, so I'm watching, I'm watching the movie, you know, and Scorpion is doing his whole rope dart thing or whatever. And I turn to, you know, the people that I'm watching it with and I go, do you look at this? Look at this. Look at this. Do you know why Scorpion is doing the freaking rope dart? Because that's one of Danny's primary weapons. This is one of Danny's primary weapons. This is why this is happening. And then when you know uh they're fighting reptile da 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 da, da and uh kano grabs a heart and ah oh, kano wins it's like this is rich <laughs> rich came up with this stuff this is you know oh you know rich is like oh you know what if we you know we did something like uh you know um uh raiders of the lost ark or something like that i'm i'm, I'm freaking out it's like look this is 30 years on and this stuff still lives on you know uh in different media i was freaking out so i loved all of that stuff <laughs> nice nice so <laughs> all right and then they lost me <laughs> <laughs> did it so it, 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 the movie lost you at that po after that point uh, when so to the end or was there something at the end that you were like okay i kind of like that um uh, oh one other the other okay maybe another thing that i really liked about the the movie uh, okay, so you got Max as, uh, as Kong Lao, right? And, you know, 
when you look at Max, Max, Max is a great martial artist. He does wushu. Uh, he does southern fist. He does broadsword. Uh, he's great. He's a singer. He. The the other thing that has to happen if you're going to be a kung lao, you got to be able to you you got to be able to bring it. Whether it's me, whether it's Paolo, yeah. whether it's uh, Max. Every right. you know, everybody's singing. Everybody's reaching out to. Everybody should be reaching out to Cryptic Soul to, to oh. do a collab with that cat. Let me tell you, <laughs> you want to, you want you want that you want your single to pop. You reach out to Cryptic Soul. No, oh, this is yeah. just what it is. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you Max, were you were you pleased with uh, his interpretation of Kung Lao? Oh, I thought he totally had. Okay, so I don't know if if. If if it's Kung Lao, oh, that's slightly arrogant. I don't know if it's if it's the source material that's slightly arrogant. <laughs> I don't know where it comes from. But 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 Max brought that. I love yeah. that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, so, so overall, <laughs> over, overall, <laughs> overall, you were pleased. I, I was pleased with what Max brought to the table, but he brings so much more. I feel like you know they didn't, he didn't get to highlight as much as he could have because he's yes. great. So yeah, and that was one of my biggest pet peeves with the movie yeah. was what the, what they did with the character. I loved the character. When when Kung Lao first spinned up and because uh, Liu Kang was getting his ass kicked because he was Liu Kang's Lu, was useless in this movie, uh, <laughs> Kung Lao, Ho Sung Pack, where were you? Uh, no, <laughs> when when Kung Lao appeared and had to save Liu Kang's ass and was just beating everybody's ass and had the the awesome you know flawless victory fatality, I was screaming over here like a little girl. I was like ah. Right, and <laughs> oh, then that's... I was like, oh no 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 movie no don't you kill. You you killed you killed Kung Lao. God damn it! <laughs> so I loved Kung Lao up to that point until they decided to uh, focus on uh, uh, generic. But we'll get into generic a little bit later. Uh, <laughs> but but overall, until they decided to uh, do what they did with Kung Lao, you were pleased with uh, this version, this interpretation. I'm yeah, I'm really I'm really pleased with, with what with Kong Lao, what Max uh, what Max brings to the table, what he brought okay. to the table or whatever. Okay. Uh, again, I think he has you know, if we're talking truthfully though, uh, he has so much more and it would have been nice to see him do much yeah. more. Because he yeah. can. He's fantastic. Because he can. Yeah, I think he's yeah. great. He's really good. All right. We're gonna we we'll, we'll, we're gonna save uh Master Persena uh for last here until John shows up. Cryptic Soul? Thoughts, uh, thoughts, positives and negatives on the newest movie. Uh, like Anthony, uh, the beginning part was good. The whole origin, how like the beef started between like uh Scorpion and Sub. Uh, the yeah. end part was good, but then I just felt like the middle part was just. I don't know. It just it, it felt rushed or like it, it just kind of like put together like quite. I don't know. Okay, it's a little lacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that they kind of used like the beginning and the and the end bit and sandwiched it like with bullshit in between, kind of. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the. Uh... Uh, but, but no, 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 like no, no disrespect to everyone, like well, anyone. No, 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 no. Or the the whole Mortal Kombat movie. I mean, like yeah. I have love for everyone, but I'm just saying, like the the way it was actually edited, or you know, the way the way the movie was. Yeah, I mean, some of the, I mean, it's, this is what I've heard from other people, uh, even from people that enjoyed the film, like they're fans of the movie, and there's a lot of fans, this movie's doing great, oh, the sequel's sure. already been green light, so, so, you know, hey, I'm happy for the film's success, even though I got my issues with the movie, I'm still happy that it's a, it's a success, because now we have an opportunity to, to make it even better Mortal Kombat in the sequel, you know. I'm still pissed about Goro and Kung Lao, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, there's always there's always room to make movies better and improve. But I, but overall, even the people that like the film, they feel that the action in the beginning and the action at the end, the very finale fight, not the third act fights, but the finale fight, were really good, and it felt like somebody else came in and directed the middle. It's weird. 
You know, that's what that's what they kind of feel like. They feel like somebody else somebody else did the first in the end, and then someone else came in and did the the the, the you know the fight choreography and the editing, which was really choppy. Because let, let's be honest, some of it was okay. Some of the editing, the quick cut editing, was all right. Some of it was all right, and then some of it was atrocious. Like in my opinion, this is just me. In like for example, the Sonya Blade versus Molina fight was that was horrible. That you know, the, can, I wish I can grab the editor and just go. <laughs> you know, like I could do the shadow kick. You know, shadow kick on the on the editor. You know, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. But I do like the cast, though. I like the cast. I, I mean, I, I like some of the cast. Um, I mean, I mean, the only thing that saved uh, the middle part was probably Kano. Yeah, he Kano was. I mean, surprisingly, my favorite character in the movie. Um, because <laughs> they did something different than I was not expecting with him. At, at first, it was kind of like, okay, he's just a regular, you know, the mercenary badass guy, you know. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, he's kind of with the good guys, but he's still in it for himself. But I was like, that's different. I actually really like that. One of the, my favorite parts in the movie, believe it or not, is the, the dinner table scene. Where he's sitting down there and he still can't get his inner power out, and Kate and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Kung Lao and Liu Kang are fucking with him, trying to get him angry, and then finally, you know, his power comes out. That was actually really good scene. That was actually legit, uh, really really good scene. And I was like, movie, you're doing something unexpected. And I was like, I, I, it's actually one of my favorite parts on the film was. I was like, okay, this is weird and bizarre and unexpected having Kano kind of be on the defenders of the Earth Realm side. This is different. But then they changed that. They said, oh, fuck it. He's going back to, he changed his mind. <laughs> yeah. You know, five minutes later, I'm with the bad guys. Okay. Uh, but it was interesting up to that point what they did uh, with Kano. In you, in you guys' opinion, because you know we got several sequels scheduled, do you think Kano is really dead? No. No. Right. Yeah, I don't. You know, if That's you know, not faceplate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Good point, Master Pacino. Yeah. That's a good and, uh, point. Yeah, Mortal Kombat is, you know, like a soap. You know, nobody dies. You know, or you'll come back, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully they bring Kano back. Because uh, yeah, I thought he was a highlight. He was a highlight of the movie. <laughs> but the yeah, hopefully, yeah. hopefully Kung Lao comes back. I don't know how yeah. to do that. I'll be perfectly. Fuck it. We're in fantasy is realm. A, We're right, in fantasy is a, realm. Is Revenant or whatever, you know, yeah. however they're, you know. But another problem a, I have as well is that why do they always do a uh, reptile looking like, you know, like a lizard thing? Why can't they just like make him like, you know, like a proper ninja? Yeah. Like well, at least. Like in their go, series go ahead. B, you know, like in their series B, they were lizard, but they were kind of like humanish lizard. Yeah. You know, like, kind of yeah. like an aliens theory lizard. Like, 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 do you remember the, uh, do you guys remember the old Mortal Kombat 2, uh, commercial that came on the TV? Oh, uh, yeah. sure. Yeah. And then they, they actually had the dude that, that, that looked like Reptile. He had, like, all that scaly skin and everything. Yeah. And he was wearing green. So, well, why can't they just do that? Because they wanted generic Reptile Beast number five in the movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like what a, they wanted in the movie. No, he just looks like a, a, a like, bootleg Godzilla, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, it, like, I agree with Master Pesena. They should have did a hybrid. I think that would have been cool. You still have the reptil you know, reptilian scales and all that, but he's still a hybrid. He's still kind of a warrior if you need him to do, you know, to be. Yeah. You know, I think that would have been a lot better. But, you know, it is what it is. That's the decision they made. What, what are we going to do, right? Um <laughs> But uh, was there anything else, Cryptic, that you liked and didn't like about the movie? So I'll tell you what I really didn't like. The whole movie didn't have uh, Master PC, you know, or Anthony in it. So I had a big problem there. <laughs> <laughs> I loved I, mean, I, I loved Joe Taslam and as, as a Sub-Zero, and I loved, what uh, you know, Henry Sinatra is legend. I, I've been a fan of that guy for so long. And I loved him as Scorpion. But... It this in a way this kind of felt like Mortal Kombat cameos, you know. If I this is just this is just me, okay. It, they were in the beginning, they were at the end, and you saw Sub Zero a little bit in the middle, but that was it. So I kind of wanted a little bit more. But everyone knows when they've heard me rant already 
Everyone knows my real issue with the movie. And <laughs> despite killing off Kung Lao, god damn it. How can you kill off Kung Lao, damn it? He was like the coolest. He was the most badass fighter on the good side. The, on the, on the, right. The, 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 he was. He was legit. We had generic. Then we had You Are Not Worthy Yet for some reason, Sonya Blade. We had Jack's T Rex baby arms, and I can say that because John. I can say that because John's not here yet. He can't kill me. Uh, but <laughs> right, literally, literally, Kung Lao was the shit. Like he was the shit, right? But everybody knows what my real issue is. But uh, we'll we'll swing it over to. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But we'll swing it to Master Pesena. Master Pesena, positives and negatives about the film. First of all, anyone who acts like me is okay in my book. So <laughs> if you're going to do Scorpion, you're okay. You know, no matter what movie or no matter what genre or no matter what anything. The first Mortal Kombat movie, Chris is awesome. You know, the second Mortal Kombat movie, uh, everybody, any cosplayer who, who cosplays as Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Johnny Cage, Reptile Smoke, they're all awesome because yeah. they are and uh, they are acting like basically me. You know what I mean? They, you know, they're. Remember, uh, what did they say in Ricky Bobby? If you're, if you're num- if you're not number one, you lost or something like that. So, uh, <laughs> but 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 being that, it's like, you know, from the being from the creative side of Mortal Kombat one or two, you know that Kung Lao was really awesome. But we always have to remember all those little nuances, all those little things that he did or the tilting of the hat, all that came from like Tony. That's not like, so again, when these guys, that's why I say anybody who acts like us is is awesome. Because nice. every little thing, you know, if you're using a rope dart, oh, thank you. If you're doing, you know, if you're helping, I help with the ice freeze, help with the slide, help with things like that, help, you know, uh, Help with so many things as far as like one or two before the company really started taking over the uh, the creation of it, where the actors, you know, in one and two were really allowed to uh, express their creativity. You know, especially the the core group, like myself, or some, right. uh, even Liz, Kano, my brother, uh, you know, and actually Tony. We really got to really dictate what how the character went because John was like our friend, so he. He knew us like Tony was going to be in the first one, the first Mortal Kombat. So he already knew Tony before, you know, it wasn't like John was going to meet Tony. John already knew Tony. He was like, oh, you think you could get them? I was like, yeah, I can get them. He's like, cool, really cool. Because he knew we were all capable of, you know, not only being martial artists, but he knew us from being geeks. You know, he knew us from hanging out. Hey, 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 wait a second. (laughs) There's <laughs> okay. Tony used to watch us play D and D. Okay, was... there. Thank you. <laughs> okay. But he was there. He wasn't anywhere. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with that now. Come on. All right. Hey, it's cool. It's cool to be a nerd now. Okay. It's cool to be a geek now. Right. Yeah. So yeah. as far as that, <clears throat> that is really good. And two with the movie, I enjoyed the first um, fight scene. I really thought it was really good. I had high hopes. But my main complaint is, mm. is the opposite of what's happening today. You're picking on the Caucasian. All the Asian guys can fight really well. All the non-Asian guys cannot fight whatsoever and only could brawl. So, why, so even if you give them a special Wonder Twin power, <laughs> that's no match. You, if you have a Wonder Twin power and you're yeah. Kano or if you're Cole, you cannot fight Kung Lao or Liu Kang. They've had years of martial art training, and they yeah. have, a, and they have a wonder twin power. Oh, twin power, <clears throat> yes. You can't. That's, that's like Luke when he first meets Darth Vader, thinking he's he's the shit in in Empire Strikes Back, and Darth Vader just takes care of him. Boop, boop, boop. And the end, he's like, get pissed off. He's like, okay, I'm gonna chop your hand off, and I'm like, take that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's you, a good point. You need years of experience martial art. It, this is not like the Matrix where you plug in. And now you you learn Kung Fu, but you're not really using your body. You're using your mind to do Kung Fu. It's right. different than right. your body doing Kung Fu because that takes, a, as, as we know as a group, that takes a lot of years of repetition and sacrifice and things like that. So even if he's really, really powerful, no. Yeah, this guy's got strategy. You know, he's got the whole who 
uh, it, 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 all those techniques, you cannot, you cannot be guys like that in six months or two years or three years. You, you know, in uh, traditional martial arts, you ta- train three years, you are a beginner. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Because there's so many things to do. How many times have you poked the tree with your fingers? Right. That's, that's traditional martial arts. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Oh, if you poke the tree for fingers every day for an hour for a year, you've got a good finger jab. Not even the best. You just have a, you know, and yeah. you, and that's a tree. That's not a heavy bag. That's a, an immobile tree where at you're at Shaolin poking it, you know? Right, yeah, so yeah. Those skills <clears throat> add, add to your thing. So That's that good. A, that's a really interesting. Yeah. That, like, it made, it made sense. That's a really interesting point, Master Piscina. Yeah, so, but it, it makes sense. Uh, you know, when she like beats the crap out of Kano, like it kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? She's got a little bit more skill than him, but yeah. Wonder twin powers later. What are you going to do? Right. (laughs) Yeah. You know what? Technically she would have went up with uh, Katana or, I mean, Melina or, you know, Sub-Zero. She would have died. She would have died. None of those guys would escape. Two, I didn't, two for me, I was disappointed that they pulled out of DC universe, the Aquaman suit and, and the Wonder Woman absorbing rings, uh, bracelets. Uh, for Cole? I mean, I'm sorry, generic? Cole, for Cole, yeah. Yeah, okay. For Cole, the basket weaving outfit? The no, basket for- weaving armor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, 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 the Aquaman <laughs> thing. I was like, Jesus, it's so much like Midway to borrow something else and put it in there because their cheap ass wouldn't want to get it free. And, <laughs> and, you know, they should have really... They really should have uh, hired John Tobias to do this for me. You know what I mean? You got if you're going to do this, you got to get the main creator in there. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? You can't be like, oh, how you know? Have these guys who came in later, you know, or who came in later, who helped create it. They deserve creative credit. They helped right. create it, but they are oh. like the main creator or not the, you know, the people who have the vision. You know, right. Otherwise, right. like we're otherwise, like we were saying, if you know, if even right now if the programmers had that vision, they would have said not said no the first round. They would be like, "Oh, this is potential for us to make the greatest fighting game ever." But instead, they were like, "No, we're we'll make more quarters if we don't do this fighting video game and do a Jean Claude Van Damme game," which I could totally understand. Mm. It's right, right, about the right. Quarters, but it's not about the creativity. You gotcha. Know? So, and two, I could uh, two. Did did it seem like they only had two, two, three sets in the whole movie? It seemed like they had like three, three. Sets. <laughs> it they did, yeah. This set, and then later on, it goes to this set, and then you fight yeah. on this set. And I'm like, and I'm thinking, like, come on, guys, spend some yeah. money. You got your freaking yeah. Warner Brothers. This is a yeah. billion dollar franchise. Outworld. Let's see more of Outworld. Yeah. No, in sets. Yeah. People are people have been work out, out, out of work for COVID. Freaking hire them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It literally, it felt like it was just Raiden's temple, Shang Tsung's throne, and then Cole's MMA area. Yeah, so, so, the, so they they essentially shot yeah like a, in a gym like at EKF Martial Arts at a like a a, a, a trailer home in Indiana. So so there's no money that's going in either a gym or the trailer home. Yeah. And and then and then the you know I guess they uh, wherever they shot it New Zealand or Australia or whatever as the you know as Outworld so yeah so there's no money being spent on on any of these sets. Right. <laughs> I so should, I, should I tell you the truth? Should I tell you the truth? All the sites were in my backyard. <laughs> yeah. But for me, being from the ground up Mortal Kombat, from being next to John to pitch the game to Midway. This is typical of what Mortal Kombat is. It is what you're seeing. The people who are leading it right now are from that family that are cheap. You know, and what did they do with the first game, first movie? No fatalities. You know, this one, they did have fatalities, but they were like, because we're spending money on special effects. Not Let's not spend any money on set design. What the heck? Right, right. Gotcha. Because for us, as fans, because I'm a fan and I had high expectations of this, and they were not all, all fulfilled, but you put your best foot forward. And this was yep. not, gentlemen, this is was not putting their best foot forward. And I don't, I'm going to still see the second and third one because yeah. I know they, 
even before anything came out, they already know that they're going to make another billion dollars on it. They're going to have it like that. But I was just like, I'm just like, man, this is so typical of this, this crew, this more thing that is associated with Mortal Kombat. Yeah. You know, it's really good. But guess what? It's so good, but we don't want to pay the guy who created it because in the end, that's why this whole thing of like how how I didn't come back or Tony didn't uh, really move very further out was yeah. because they didn't want to like, you know, they, they promised money. Even Ed and John, they promised big bonuses. And when it was time to cut the bonuses, they cut their bonus. And so when it came time to get my stuff, they were like, oh, no, you don't get anything because uh. That's how cheap they are. You know what I mean? So seeing this stuff, only three sets, I was like, oh, yeah, they're typical of Mortal Kombat because they're so damn cheap. Gotcha. <laughs> wow. No, great points. Great points. Uh, we got a super chat here from uh, Joe Valley, Media Glitch in the house. He says, Anthony and but, Daniel, uh, we need to sing. Believe, believe. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got to believe, believe, believe again. Believe, believe. All right. Believe <laughs> You just gotta believe in home uh, yeah. gotta uh, be- shout I out. no longer have that song. This is Danny's song now. It is, it is what it is. Shout, shout out shout, shout out to Kung Lao and the Scorpions, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Represent Kung Lao and the Scorpions band. Follow it. That's right. Represent Kung Lao. There you and go. The there you go. Oh boy. No, those are great points. But overall, you were in it you did like the movie or you were entertained by it or you thought it was a solid effort? I didn't think it was a solid effort. I thought the martial <laughs> art guys should have had better reign of what their skills were. I think they should have decided to pick some people who would could do martial arts and put them into the, uh, to the roles that were like, no offense to Sonia, she's pretty, but she needs right. martial arts skills. No right. offense to Max, he's awesome, but he needs some martial arts skills. Right. Let's, let's, let Kano, I, I've heard he does martial arts, so why didn't you let him do martial arts? You know, real. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, not just brawling, you know, yeah. because again, brawling looks really cool, but, but unless you're a superhero, brawling doesn't really work. It works right. well for Marvel because they're a superhero and they have one right. powers. You know, you... when Superman punches all cockeyed, and I was like, if anybody, if, if, if anybody else punched like a three-year-old, you break your hand. <laughs> Superman can punch like a three-year-old because he's Superman. <laughs> right, right, right. Here you we know? go. Joel Dude. says he, Joel says he didn't like the movie at all. Uh, wow. I worked in the film industry, and he thought that it he just felt like it was lazy. I'm gonna agree. There you go. There you go. Uh, yeah. But okay, so that's a good point you bringing up about Sonya. Like the casting of her was good, and the actress tried. She she did her best. But maybe do you think why her fight with Melina was the worst in the movie with the quick cut editing because she just was not athletic enough or like you said probably didn't really even know martial arts. You think why you think maybe that was why it was the and quick I, cut editing was the worst no. in that fight or they just don't know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, the whole thing is, you know, I don't mind uh, you know the, it's the it's for one this is Mortal Kombat. It right. Was, it was born of, you know, when, when John and I were talking about presenting this to Midway, we wanted it to look like a Kung Fu movie. We didn't yes. want it. We came out with these basic things just because the technology wouldn't let us do, you know, when we were actually filming moves before, you know, when John and I were the only ones in there filming moves, mm-hmm. John was like, do a combination. So I was doing like seven star praying mantis combinations. So see this move like this, after I did that, all of a sudden that turned into this move. Ah. <laughs> Rapid punch. So we wanted it to look like a Kung Fu movie. So right. I, in my opinion, my big mouth opinion, and I'm not in the business and I'm not making any money on that, but they should have took the time to teach her some basic combinations and then yeah. sped it up and blurred it a little bit so that the way they could mask it. Otherwise, they're doing what everybody else does in their film. And, and when I meet everybody else, I mean, everybody who's trying to break into the business who's never took a martial art lesson is making these choreography. Guess what? You just did what they did. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that because those people, you know, they, yeah. they say hey to me and I love their work, but this are people making money. You know, this is a yeah. billion dollar franchise. You can mm-hmm. have a vision and be like, oh, guess what? 
maybe we don't do it where it's apparent that she doesn't know any martial arts. Let's try, you know, boom, 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 right. boom. Okay, right. do that over and over again and have the, Melina block them, boom, boom, and now you, oh, and now you have some kung fu fighting and everybody be like, oh my God, she knows martial arts. Right. Gotcha. Man, and, rant all day long. So and, then it, we, and then we had Wonder Twins power at the end. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, in the end, yeah, in the end, they didn't, uh, it's typical of, of, of this Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> and don't let the martial artists do what they're best at. Do martial arts. We're going to control you and you're going to do what I say because I know, I yeah. fake martial arts and I know best. <laughs> right, right. No, even the creator of Mortal Kombat came to me as a martial artist and said, "Hey, I don't know martial arts. Will you help me with this?" Because he right. knows the presentation. But once this gotcha. starts going and you're making money, mm -hmm. you know better than everybody else because I'm making a million dollars a year or whatever. No, that's not just the way it rolls. Anyway, that's oh, not copy that, copy that. Uh, shout out to Wholesome Pack. He's a badass. Maybe we can get him on the on the channel and talk with us in the future. Oh, yeah, um, just uh, it's not your fault. It's not your fault, my friend, but salute. <laughs> we salute you. Uh, but honest opinion, what did you guys think about Liu Kang? Liu Kang's character in the movie. It, it's like they watered him down, man. Yeah. I'm going to say it's, it's, it's like not. There's so, there's so much more that you can actually do with him, but it just, I don't know. Like, I just feel as if like they, he was like a side salad. Yeah, if you know what I mean, he's not like the the main thing. And, and in the in the in the Mortal Kombat universe, the first one, he is the hero. You know, Johnny yeah. Cage. Johnny he's a Cage badass. Is this Pippin? You know what I mean? In the first one, Johnny Cage is Pippin. Luke King is Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, that's a bet. And this guy looks like uh, I don't know him, but when I was watching, I was like, oh, this guy is good. But, and then sometimes I was like, well, why isn't he like showing off his stuff? Why is he doing that? But because some guy who didn't know what he was doing said, this is what you have to do. You have to grow yeah. the ball and stuff like that. No, if you watch the video games, Hosung just went like this and then did, did that. He should have just did that. Everybody would have went crazy. Right, right. We got another uh, super, super chat here. Uh, thanks, Beefy, for the donation. He says, bad acting from Cole and his wife. Lou felt like he was weaker than he is. Goro was weak. I felt Cole was irrelevant for this film. I don't get it. But we'll get to generic uh, a little bit later. Uh, Master Marquez. Oh, cheers. Cheers, everyone. We'll do hey. cheers. And uh, spiritual cheers for Master Marquez. Uh, uh, Anthony, what did you think of Liu Kang? Um, yeah, so like Danny was saying, you know, um, in the original trilogy, even in the, in the, the movies or whatever, you have, you know, Liu Kang is, is the central character. He's, he's the hero of this story. Uh, Johnny Cage is the outsider who, who's trying to come in and he's actually the, um, the audience character where they can follow, oh, what's going on? The Johnny Cage character should be, you know, everyone's explaining to Johnny Cage. It, it's not, it's not a tournament that you're going to build your reputation off of. This, we're fighting for, you know, the fate of the universe, and you know, so that would be Danny's character. Um, in this one, yeah, um, I didn't feel like uh, they they did enough to show that. Yeah, Liu Kang is the chosen one, and you know, whether it's Ho Song, you know, and Ho Song obviously was the the greatest competitor amongst us at the time there's uh at the time maybe the great you know the greatest martial arts competitor in america there's no question about that and then when um well oh my god why am i drawing a blank right now what's that robin when robin did it you know Ro robin and ho, ho young trained together and we all you know we all know each other and you know everybody you know everybody knows everybody and we all do martial arts together and robin is great and everything like that and I thought Robin brought something to the table too. Ludi um, doesn't really, he's not a martial arts guy who's an actor. You know, his background is he did some uh, Muay Thai after high school. I think he does some wrestling and some jujitsu, but it doesn't lend to him being the central character. Okay, if all the martial arts hinge, you know, the, the majority of the martial arts hinges on Liu Kang. I don't know if uh, I don't know if that would have been the the best choice. Right. But, 
Right. No, no, nice. Uh, well said. Uh, Mr. King Palma says here, thanks for the don't know. He says, Sub-Zero was his favorite character, and they should have got rid of Cole Young instead of Kung Lao. I hate that script. LOL. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree I with think, that. I think right now what we're in agreement that, you know, as far as what I'm listening to and what I've listened to fans complain about it, sure you have, like, the fans that, you know, are going to love it no matter what, which they should. They love Marvel yeah. Mortal Kombat. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But this is this is it. It wasn't really the actors or the or the director. It was the freaking <clears throat> people in charge in charge. Really, the management. Really, the producers. Right. The producers are the ones that fell short of this. They should have gotten. They should have made the producers play the video game and kind of, you know, submerge themselves into Mortal Kombat to realize when they got the where they're going to make decisions on Mortal Kombat. Oh, I've never watched or played Mortal Kombat or have nothing to do with Mortal Kombat my whole life, and I'm going to make a decision. No, that, that, right. that's not educated. Just let them give them money and just be quiet and let a yeah. fan, let a group of fans come in and, and be like, okay, you know, there's, and there's tons of super fans that'd be like, no, you can't do that because yeah. guess what? You know, oh, you're picking this guy for Luke Kang. Well, what kind of martial arts background? Oh, he's done wrestling? Oh no, but Luke came from Shaolin. Shaolin is sure thirty percent wrestling, but majority is striking. You know, you got to freaking get <laughs> an education. <laughs> yeah, no, no, well said, well said. Uh, but yeah, I mean the the, the the actor that you know they got to play Luke oh. Kang, he's ripped. Yeah, yeah Drake. Right. no, I thought he, I thought he looked but, great, and but he felt he, he, it's just okay. the character felt like diet Luke Kang. The, the right. character felt like discount Luke Kang. He, he's great, you know, I'm sure he's great, uh, you know, at what he does. Mm -hmm. But again, yeah, like Danny was saying, it, it has nothing to do with the actors. Uh, right. You know, the actors no. are great at what mm -hmm. they do. And yeah. it has, no, it, it is about the, the producers. And this is where sometimes things get lost, where when people are worried about, oh, you know <sighs> what, we're going to put out a product. It doesn't, you know, and we don't actually care what this product is this product is a known th especially when it's a known thing and we're going to get a certain amount on our you know a certain return on our investment as opposed to hey why don't we try to put out a the best product that we can yeah. and get even more money you know more return on our investment and you know this is where things break down from you know like you know like uh, cryptic over here or myself or even dan or whatever we're doing or whatever you know you're doing we're 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 trying to put out the best products that we have we may not have the the reach we not ha may not have the resources yeah. but you know that the product is the best product that we can possibly do when it becomes very big then it becomes how much can we spend on this product? How we could how could we get it out there? And then how much are we going to make off of this product? As opposed to why don't we try to make the best product possible and try to get as much money off of that best product? Sometimes sometimes that thinking doesn't doesn't get uh, put in there. No, that's, that's well said. Very well said. That's, uh, that's thoughts a story, yeah. Thoughts on Shang Tsung. I like uh, the but he didn't really do anything. Besides, <laughs> besides the soul, besides the soul, when we were doing MK1, that soul stealing thing he does, we used to goof around and during MK1 take pictures of ourselves doing that move. Where yeah. I would have, I would stand on a chair and then the guy would be lifting me up and they'd be like getting ready to punch me. That was like that that whole soul soul stealing position is such a classic. Johnny Cage puts them in that position. I think I had. I had everyone doing that position in See, World at one. Yeah, but this is this is one of those, you know, and I, I we talk about this stuff all the time, that magic in a bottle type thing, where yeah. again, you know, everybody talked about the the beginning of the movie. Oh, you know, it's so cool with the uh, Scorpion and uh, and Sub Zero, and uh, the main thing that made that cool was the rope dart. And you know, again, the legend being that I was supposed to be the ninjas or whatever. I I broke my foot. But if I didn't break my foot, I would have been the ninjas and it would have been fine. You know, I'm, I'm sure it would have been right. fine. But you have that magic in the bottle where, oh, Danny, Danny, you know, does rope dart. And, you know, oh, Scorpion does this rope, uh, you know, does the, the rope dart thing. And Danny's able to expand on that stuff. 
And yeah. that's why when we're watching that movie in the beginning, oh my God, this is great because of that magic in the bottle. I could have been Scorpion and it would have been fine. Yeah. And maybe, you know, somebody else, you know, we could have hired somebody else to do Kung Lao and I'm sure that would have been fine. But there's the magic that, you know, that Danny brought that, you know, that whole song brought that, you know, uh, Rich brought that Carlos brought that all of these cats brought that you can't replicate or you can try to replicate that. Yeah. Uh, but but the magic, the, the original magic, that's where all of this stuff stems from. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but do I think that that was just the the uh, war gods breaking your foot so that you were destined really to. <laughs> you really were. You really were. <laughs> Because that character, because you can't really see your face, other actors would have not been able to make something out of that. Like you made a whole, you made so many moves in this look where the shading of your face isn't like, oh, your his face is hidden. No, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like that old freaking samurai movie where you're gonna, oh. where they fight and all of a sudden you tilt your head and you're like this, and they can't really see what you're thinking and then blah, blah, and then you oh, freaking... Yeah. You know why that happened? You know why that happened? Because, okay, you know, yeah, Danny's talking about, yeah, they're doing some video game, whatever, whatever, whatever. They're going to do some video game. Oh, I'm out of the video game. I don't fucking care. You know, I don't, there's some little project he keeps talking about. And then all of a sudden it's Mortal Kombat and I can't get away from these guys. (laughs) (laughs) And, And it's the same, it's that same attitude, you know, from when we were kids. Oh, you're great. I'm going to be just as great or greater. And if I'm greater than you, then that's going to force you to be even greater than me. And then all of a sudden, I see, you know, I'm looking at Danny everywhere. I'm seeing Ho Sung everywhere, Rich and Carlos everywhere. Are you, are you freaking kidding me? (laughs) And so, (laughs) get me into this next game. Get me into this next game. And all right, ooh, I know what I'm, all right, I'm Kung Lao. Fucking, I'm going to show these fuck with the fucking <laughs> fucking mess. Don't fucking fuck with Kong Lao. This fuck is going to fuck you up. <laughs> and that, that, that was the whole attitude. <laughs> Kung, Kung Lao just got gangster up in here. I like it. I like it. Uh, thank you, uh, Flex. Oh, thank you, Flex Trainer, for the uh, the donation. And we got one more here. Sorry, <laughs> Brandon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, they wanted to get money from the hype. If Godzilla, I feel, cause it felt super rushed. So they're, uh, that's what Brandon's saying. He thinks that's why they were yeah. kind of, they wanted to hurry up. They didn't want to compete with Godzilla. Maybe that's why the movie was pushed back a little bit. Think so? Yeah, I thought, yeah. I thought right. so. I thought that they wanted to give uh, a little bit more room to for Godzilla. I disagree with that whole strategy because Godzilla, I will pay money for Godzilla and I will. I would have paid money for this if this was in the theater. I would have just... Right. No, wait, 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 wait. You're, you're, you're looking at it wrong, though. I mean, Godzilla was in the movie. Like, it was Reptile, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they, I think they got Godzilla's stunt <laughs> double. <laughs> Finish him. Finish him. Uh, thanks, Omegon32. Uh, he says, hey, Fat Samurai guy and guests, my big problem was Raiden and Shang Tsung in this movie. They were weak in this. Uh, yeah, they didn't really give them anything to do, and I'm kind of I'm kind of tired of seeing these iconic characters doing nothing. Uh, Flex says here, thank you, Flex. Uh, Jax v- versus Reiko should have been longer. Fight to show what Jax could do with those arms and uppercut him off the bridge. Kano was hilarious. Uh, thank you, uh, Flex. Uh, but yeah, I uh, going back to what Cryptic Soul said earlier about how the third act really felt rushed. It really felt like, all right, hurry up, we got to end the movie now. And everybody had their own individual fights, and then it was over, and then we got to end it, and blah, 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 blah. I think, I mean, this, this is, you know, this was one of my rants in the review was, even though I, I found parts of the movie entertaining, I gave it an above average score. Mm-hmm. I, my, my major rant was, I'm here for Mortal Kombat. Kind of what Master Pesena said earlier. We're here for Mortal Kombat. The, the cherry on the top is the gore fatalities, but that should be the cherry. That shouldn't be the meal, right? And, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't timed it. But I'm pretty sure Jax's fight, his his revenge, his round two fight with... I mean, the first fight wasn't really that great either. But the, the second fight was, I think it was like 30 seconds. Wow. Yeah. It was under a minute. And that's unacceptable. 
We're here. We're here for Mortal Kombat, you know. And there's a lot of fans for this movie out there. They love it. And I think that's great. As long as you guys at the end of the day get entertained, that's all that matters, right? But a lot of people are kind of a little bit. They're a little bit murfed and a little bit upset that Samurai guy, you know, the, their boy, was kind of like it was entertaining. I give it a little bit above average, but it could have done better. Like I really wanted to love the movie. If you see my trailer reaction for the film, I'm running around like a little kid in the living room. Yeah. I'm going crazy, right? But we got to be honest on our channel, right? And, you know, I talked about the positives. But if I didn't like it as much as they like it, then they're all like, oh, you know, uh, the 1990 move, 95 movie sucked. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, yeah, but you remember it, don't you? Yeah. You remember it. Because they're, you know, they will, the, they, the producers of it forgot to remember that they're fans and they remember yeah. 95. They will remember this one. They yeah. should have honored their fans by doing a better job on it. If, right. it was, if it was rushed, they should have said, hey, guys, and explain it. Hey, COVID happened. You know, we're feeling rushed, but we want to give you the best. We're going to push it back two months, three yeah. months. Yeah. You know what? Fans would be like, oh, th thank you. You know what I yeah. mean? Here's some more money on your skins. You know, or yeah. whatever you got yeah. going we love you for being honest with us. And see, they care about us as fans. They want to produce a really kick-ass movie instead of just tapping me on the shoulder and taking out my yeah. wallet and taking out a few bills and sticking it back in. Yeah, yeah. if the fight, you know, the fights in the beginning at the end, especially the end duel between Sub-Zero and Scorpion, when that finally kicked in, I was like, oh my God, finally, it's a Mortal Kombat movie now. That's what, that was my reaction. I was like, finally, it's a Mortal Kombat movie. I was losing my shit because the, 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 it was actually filmed solid. The quick cut editing was at a minimum. The fight was actually badass. And I was like, yes, finally. Oh, God, yes. Uh, Scorpion, get over here. I was losing it, right? I was like, finally, it's a fucking, this is saving the movie for me. This is saving the movie for me, right? And then they had to kind of taint it a little bit with generic. They had to throw in generic. <laughs> At the end, and, and 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 we're not hating on any of the actors. We're not hating on Max. Max is is great. It's the character they wrote for him. All right, they gave him basket weaving powers, basket weaving armor. You know, and you know, and I had somebody else was saying, yeah, I just watched the 1995 movie the other day, and and uh, oh, Goro looks like the Great Khali from WWE. He, the, the Goro looks horrible. He's like, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, but you remember Goro, don't you? You know, and I said, I said, the CGI Goro that we got now, you're not going to remember this. As soon as the movie's over, you're not going to remember CGI Goro. You're not. And. You know, I would take, they, and back in 95, they, they would put in effort. They're like, all right, let's, we have a certain amount of budget. Let's try this practical effects and makeup, you know, with the forearms and the, guy, and the facial animatronic. Like, they, there, was, there was effort put into it. Yeah, of course, you watch it now. It looks a little rough. But some of it looks solid for its time. Sure. And, but, but see, you could see the effort instead of just generic CGI Goro. And I told the guy, I was like, look, you can love the movie. It's fine if you love the movie, man. Just because I don't love it as much as you do, it's okay. <laughs> you, know, it's, it, you know, movies are subjective. It's fine. We can still be friends. All right? But if you tell me you hate the Raid movies, then I'll have to break your neck and bury you in the backyard. Uh, but um, but uh, I, I, I put the guy in his place. I said, well, you know, you can, you can dog on Goro all you want. That's fine. Okay? But I'd rather take... Animatronic, practical affected Goro any day over CGI Goro that ge that gets killed and jobs out to basket weaving armor magical kitty cat bracelet. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, I was just like, this is so bad. The fucking kitty cat bracelet. That's from nobody. I'm just joking. <laughs> the, bra the child daughter bracelet. Give him the uppercut bracelet formed into his magical MacGuffin basket weaving armor. And that's what made him, gave him the power to kill Goro. And now we don't even have Goro in the tournament now. Yeah. and So I'm kind of like, hmm, which Goro would you take? Well, too, I, I got a uh, problem too with, why didn't, you know, he didn't, Sub-Zero had, in his younger days, didn't have any problem killing a mother and child there. But with Cole's, you know, with that guy's uh, wife and daughter, he didn't kill them. That doesn't make any sense. Their death, putting on the the kitty 
a kitty bracelet <laughs> would have gave him that magical power you know and yeah. would have done that connection but not killing them and having that was just like why uh, why did he spare them now all of a sudden Sub zero has a conscious no dude <laughs> you know that didn't yeah. That part didn't really mess up. You know, he yeah. killed a child and, and wife before he should have done that there, and that should have yeah. his magical yeah. power. Right. If the fights were just as, in the middle, were just as good and as satisfying, you got to scratch the fucking itch, man, the action itch. All right? Don't just slap it. you got to scratch it. And the beginning, I was like, yeah, this is fucking dope. This is going to be good. I love it. And then we got the metal. And then, uh, you know, the, the, the problem, again, 30-second fight. 30-second fight. Yeah, oh, come on, it's don't show it. That, 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 that looks like Steve Harvey, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he's doing the same yeah. thing Goro does. I mean, they can't think of something original where he jumps, <laughs> yeah. Goro, yeah. Goro jumps in the air. What? Yeah, no, I like the way Cabal looked. I thought he looked pretty badass. I really like the way Cabal looked, even though he sounded like Discount Bill Burr. Uh, <laughs> uh, he looked badass, but when he fought Liu Kang, I was like, okay, we going we gonna, we gonna start the ruckus now. All right. They're getting down a little bit. But then when it came again, the third act, okay, we're going to hurry up and rush. Go, go, go. Their rematch. It sucked. It sucked in my opinion. I was like, and I was just sitting here and watching. I was like, oh, okay. He's going to do his dragon fire kill finale. He's like, okay, well then that's a, all right, let's go see what's, what's generic versus Melina doing. You know, I'm starting to check out. I literally didn't check. I, I literally didn't check back in until, you know, Scorpion and Sub Zero showed up again, and then I went crazy. Just imagine if all the fights in the middle were badass. There's no excuses. That old movie does 1995. Okay, 1995. They had since 1995 to improve. And I'm tired of the excuses. It's okay if you like the movie. Just enjoy the movie. Fuck the critics. Right? Fuck what Samurai Guy says. You don't have to listen to me. Enjoy the movie. But I'm tired of this type of excuse. Well, it's just the first guy. It's the first time action director. He never did action movies before. Leave him alone. That's not an excuse. Yeah. That's yeah, not well, an excuse. That's like me. I'm going to direct. Hey, fuck Adam Wingard. I'm directing the next Godzilla versus Kong movie mm -hmm. or whatever. I'm going to do it. And it's going to suck. But hey, it's my first time. Come on. Give me a break. That's <laughs> not an excuse. Yes, it's, it's not an excuse. When you got we got directors like Ranjit, directors like Timo, there's so many <laughs> badass directors out there that you, like they, they could have got for cheap. Yeah, it's like to they do the movie. Are, so that way, when the second one is a little bit better than mediocre, we're all happy. That's that for me. That's what it seems like. I'm getting scared of that, you know, because I will still it'll go to the movie theaters. It's number two, and I wound up spending money on it, but I am really afraid that they're going to do that. They're like, oh, we lowered the bar on the first one, so the second one doesn't have to be, you know, it could be okay. Ugh, but that's scary. And then people will say, well, it was better than the other one, and we'll spend money on it. Right. No. You yeah. know, best foot forward. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. You know, no, I, I totally, I totally uh, buy in with that. That, uh, yeah, never try to lower the bar. We should always be pushing, whether it's us, whether it's them. Yeah. Yeah. Push everything. Do it. Do as great a job as you can. And you know what? That's just going to challenge you to be better. As opposed yeah. to, yeah, let's lower their bar so that when we come out next time, it'll look better. No, set that bar high and climb above that. Don't right. don't lower it so that we can kind of just, oh, see, this is this is where we're at now. I, yeah. I hate that type of thinking. Yeah. So. <laughs> four guy here, four, four peeps here. This family right here, we hire the bar. And guess what? We're not afraid to break that freaking ceiling and go to the next level each time you know yeah don't be yeah. afraid to be really good don't yeah. be afraid to be really good and don't yeah. uh, don't be afraid to challenge yourself to be better exactly yes I, exactly. And, well said and if uh, and if, if if they're keeping the same director which probably they are for the sequel i hope i hope <laughs> i know i know i know i know i know nobody wants to hear that but i hope he Take some constructive criticism from the from from people, and he'd be like, the, you know what? Okay, I could I can improve on that. Yeah. Hopefully the, the, he the, he will. But then there'd I doubt be no it. excuse of oh, 
I'm a first time guy. <laughs> no, <Right>? you're not. <laughs> it's only my second movie, action movie. So you know, you know. But you right, know, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, if all if all four of us right now had the old iPhone four, we can actually direct the better Mortal Kombat. <laughs> 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 uh, you're going to have to give me the Jax fight, though, for 30 seconds because I'm out of shape. That's all I'm good for is 30 <laughs> seconds. That's it. Yeah, but but, at least you go like this, grab him, gotcha, hit him a little bit. He throws back, he throws a punch, hit the ground, and then, then you'd smash him. And then that's everybody, it. Then everybody yeah. would be crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, my God, that was the best Jax ever. Right. No, yeah. So going back to what uh, Master Marquez mentioned earlier. Johnny Cage in the old movie was the uh, the surrogate for the audience. You know, he the on, the audience kind of looks through Johnny Cage's eyes and is, "Oh, I'm in that world. Like, what is this?" You know what I mean? That that's all we needed. We didn't need generic. And here's the thing: they could have did it with Sonya in this movie. Yeah, they could have easily did it with Sonya. Sonya, I don't have any powers. I'm not. I'm not. I'm one of the. I don't have the Mortal Kombat logo tattoo. I'm not one of the chosen ones, right? They easily could, we could have, we could have, the audience could have lived through Sonya and been, the, she could have been the, the avatar for the audience, right? Easily. They could have did it with Jax. Yeah. They could have uh, did and, it with Jax. Yeah, any of these cats, they, exactly. And one of my favorite parts of this film is that one scene where Jax is training with his baby T Rex arms and he's frustrated and he's giving up. And he had a pretty good dialogue between. Sonya and him, and Sonya kind of giving him the the, mm -hmm. the, the pep talk. That, I like scenes like that. We could have did a little bit more of that. We could have expanded that. Again, Jax could have been the avatar for the audience. Sure. But no, we had to be lazy, and we had to play it safe, and we had to pick the same old, a family man, he's got a family. Now, I'm sure in other movies, that could probably work, right? But not in Mortal Kombat. Okay, not in Mortal Kombat. We're here for Mortal Kombat. We had no issues following the original characters in the first 1995 movie. We had no issues. We wanted to see them, see if they succeed in this adventure. We want to see where it goes. You know, we didn't need this long backstory where someone's daughter's yelling, Give him the uppercut! <laughs> okay, we didn't need that. And just like Age of Ultron, nobody gave a fuck about Hawkeye, so what did they do? Oh... He's a family man now this whole time, and he's got a daughter, and he's got his kids and his wife. Oh, we can all relate to him now. We like Hawkeye now. Yeah. That's lazy writing. Mm -hmm. That is generic, tropey, lazy writing. And we didn't even, if you're going to do that, we have to spend time with the family. We have to get to know the family if you want to charge, if you want to try to pull the heartstrings and go that way. What we were, what we were with the daughter and the mom for like two minutes. And it was just like, you know, it was just a waste of time. And here's the thing. Even if, okay, fuck it. We're going to make generic the avatar for the audience. This is the decision we made. Why did they only give Cole like four lines? You, you, you will, um, Cole will be in a scene and you will, uh, you will automatically forget he's there. He barely said anything. He barely had any lines. <laughs> It's like, well, if you're trying to push us to root for this guy and that he's a badass and he's the chosen one, fuck Liu Kang, diet Liu Kang, he's the chosen one, have him talk. He barely said anything. He said like a few lines with his family, a few lines at the end. We got to, let's bring the tournament to them. He barely spoke. Or have so him again, win. script. You know, hmm? have him win an MMA match. I mean, he can't even freaking win... A man, an MMA match against the, uh, a freaking regular guy, and then all of a sudden he's going to get his bracelet, Wonder Twin power, and then <laughs> everybody else. You know, and yeah. Speaking of, that, speaking of your analogy, they have to take a lesson from Cap, Captain America, End Game, right? Picks up a fucking broken shield. There's a whole army coming through. He is the only one there. He doesn't right away run away. He puts on this fuck the shield, a broken fucking shield. Yeah. Takes a deep breath and starts walking towards him. Yeah. And just luckily, everybody else appears. No, he was ready. He was like, yep. ready to fucking step it up. I can do this all day. 
Yeah, exactly. Even in even in First Avenger, before yeah. he had his powers, yeah. he jumped on a hand grenade. He thought it was a hand grenade. He was trying to yeah. save his his, his, his assault, fellow soldiers. And and two, it's like, sure, I'm going to die, but two thousand of you guys are going to die with me. Come with me. Then, yeah. Thousand, yeah. No, you yeah. Have freaking. Yeah. If they if they yeah. wrote the script for for oh go ahead Marquez. Uh, on that note, I do have to go inspire. The next generation. Okay. Oh, you got. You got. That's right. You got to. Uh, you got to go teach, right? Yes. All right. Hey, this was an honor to have you here. We're still going to be yakking yeah, here. You guys Hopefully, keep John yapping. shows up. Uh, you guys Master keep Mar- yapping. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Master Marquez, thank you, sir, for all that you have done. You have inspired uh, future generations. We really thank you uh, for what you've done in the past. And uh, we got to get you back on here anytime. Definitely, You're definitely, definitely. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Before oh. you go, before you go. Oh, oh, hey. oh. 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 Run, uh, run, entered the tournament. Run for your lives, <laughs> oh, Jax is right. here. We're screwed. I love you guys. All right, have a good one, Master right. Marquez. John, what? Master, Master Parish. What's up? What's up? Hey, wow. welcome. It's an honor to have you here with us. We appreciate that. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, well, I had a client, a last-minute emergency, and I was on my phone, and it kept asking me to send some code that it never sent. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit, you know. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> oh, it's perfectly fine. It, it, better late than never. We're, we're yeah. glad that you're here. Uh, we were talking about earlier about how you guys uh, got into martial arts and uh, kind of helped pave the way, and we appreciate all that you've done uh, in, the, in the in the early years, you know, and now look at this whole franchise that's still going strong today, you know, and it's awesome that you're a martial artist. I mean, I think this is this is not fair. Okay, all right, you're a mar- badass martial artist, and you look like this. What is this? You know, <laughs> this is not fair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, how long you, how, how long have you been getting into bodybuilding there? How long have you been doing it? <laughs> 1987. Wow. And that's and you still look like this. this is, that's insane. Yep, I, and then I stopped in 94 for 20 years and then came back stronger, bigger, and better than ever. Yeah, I, I like it. Love it. All right, so so we, we've been bouncing around talking about what we liked and what we didn't like about the film, the newest Mortal Kombat movie. And uh, since we got you here, we get a little uh, recap here. Uh, we, we're getting ready to talk about the Cole character, a.k.a. Generic, uh, but we'll get into him in a little bit. But what were your thoughts about the film, positives and negatives on the new movie? Uh, there were no negatives for me because I understood where they were coming from, you know. Um, okay. This is, you know, it's a prequel, and they're re, when they say reboot, they're really rebooting Mortal Kombat. And, you know, the first seven minutes as a preview instead of a trailer, I said, if it's going to look like this, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, and once you start watching it, you under, I mean, you understand what they were doing and you understand Mortal Kombat, how Danny choreographed everything, how it was all put together that you said, okay, you know, they put in our signature mood, which was great. You know, they had Kano with the heart beating in his hand, you know, me smashing somebody's head. And you have the scorpion just throwing the dart. I mean, they gave tribute to Danny. So the beginning was she was using it as a tool, and she put it right there. And I said, "That scorpion's right there. <laughs> That's the dart." <laughs> so, so you you were pleased with this version of Jax? You thought the actor did a good job? Uh, yeah, it's about fucking time. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's about, I mean, I guess third time's a charm, you know? <laughs> you know, now they did, he did say on somebody's blog or something that the way he got into character was he was studying the other Jaxes from other movies. I said, that was a wrong way to do it. He should have just messaged me. Yeah. Who do you fly out, train with me one week, you would have understood what Jax was all about. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I, I agree. For a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, why study with a copy when you can study with the original? Yeah, the real thing. I mean, yeah. I, he's just looking at film. I'm like, that's they were nowhere near what Jackson. 
I mean, to me, it was an embarrassment, especially the second one. I'm like, what? No, no, no. Why am I here? <laughs> you see reruns on, on uh, Sling TV. I'm like, no, 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 take that off. That should be, that should be burned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still, I'm still shocked. Because uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, um, I unfortunately saw that in theater. I paid money to see that. Uh, but, uh, it's it's funny. It's funny because it's over the years. It's become a for some people, not everybody, um, a so bad it's good movie. Like they can watch it and laugh hysterically at it, and that, that's how they get their entertainment out of it. Um, but um, yeah, I, I remember that. But yeah, I, even even as much as I am nostalgic for the first Mortal Kombat, and I always champion it. Um, the Jackson that what he had like a cameo. Well, he's like in the beginning, and that was it, right? I'm just saying, he, his, what is that, a one-liner? No, yeah. Sonya, don't go. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I was like, oh. that Oh, God, no. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing they didn't have you in the movie, right? Because that would have been your only line. That would have been it. Oh, no, been a waste. Up some shit. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> I would have said, call up, Danny. Come on, let's get the squad down here. We, we got to get this right. <laughs> You know, it's not that hard, people. It's really not. You're overthinking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. I'm glad you enjoyed uh, this interpretation of Jax. I wanted to see him in the movie a lot more. Uh, I wanted him to have a lot more scream time. Oh, but he the, will in the next one. I guarantee that. I hope so. I really hope so. Yeah. And speaking of the next one, speaking of the next one, we, uh, we got a super chat here for a little bit. We got uh, Mr. King Palmer. Thanks for the donation. He goes, He says, I hope they put Scott Atkins in for Johnny Cage in the sequel. He fits good for the role. Now, the last thing I've heard, I don't know if what you guys have heard, is there's the buzz that's going around is The Miz, the WWE wrestler, wants to be Johnny Cage. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Yeah, he does, but they still haven't casted Johnny Cage yet. But, I, I, no, I don't see The Miz <laughs> No, you're like no, no, no. no, no, no. There, there, there was a there was another rumor as well that they wanted to get uh um the dude who played uh, Cyclops in yeah. uh, the X Men, the the old X Men, not the not the young dude. Oh oh oh. As Johnny Cage? Yeah, what's his name? Uh, James Mar uh, James Marsden or something. Okay, yeah, yeah. sounds really him. Yeah yeah yeah. Huh. I think you know what I I the Miz I met the Miz and he's actually a. He kind of like when I met him, he freaked out. He's like, "Oh my god!" He's like, "I based my character on you." He's really athletic. I don't yeah. have, I don't have a problem with anybody they fit to act like you know, like us. I, you know, if they're right. they're doing Jack, they're doing yeah. Parrish. Not, you know, they're doing they're acting like Parrish. So yeah, I don't, right. yeah. I, that's what I said. I said no matter what. I said when I look at it, I'm like, you know, you're that's modeled after me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. But I don't have, uh, you know, I'm just hoping that, you know, it's not really the pick. They want to make it the buzz for the pick. And I want it to be more of the, what the script is going to support this character. Are they yeah. going to let this guy become, you know, what, let him become the character that he's portraying rather than tell him, oh, you must do this or you must do that. First, yeah. like, if you get a fan saying, hey, you know, Miz, you have to act like this, and he takes that, then it's going to be good. Right. But if you have a producer saying, no, I want it like this, and it's not Johnny Cage-type material, then it's not going to be Johnny Cage, and then people are going to not be happy. Right. Yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah, they have to listen to, they have to pay attention to what it actually is as opposed to someone's interpretation of what it is. You can, right. always, you can always add to the creation, but in the end, you can't really recreate because in the end, you're not really recreating. You're just taking that creation in a different direction. Creating right. is ma creating is making it, not yeah. adding. It, you know. Right. So, so again, copy they, that. You know, if they when they hopefully give you know Jax more lines, he can actually play the game a little bit and really study, reach out, ask him. Yeah, yeah reach out and ask us. You know, like like I said, what about you know the guy who played Jax? You. It would have been best instead of you trying to look at the, you know, the, the annihilation and the first Mortal Kombat actors yeah. video. I mean, 
looked out and see if Will Jackson's still alive. And everybody will tell you he is. And I'm like, you would have messaged me. I don't like go DM. I don't like, sure. I mean, come on out. I'll fly out or something. And, you know, yeah. you know, interview me and I'll tell you what <clears throat> my background really is and right. how the character became. You know, I said, because without any of us in the game, those characters would never have been alive. I mean, we That's right. were the actual character. That was our persona. That's you right. Because I act like that on a daily basis. So. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah, yeah. That is credit to the, the thing. It was so low budget. You know, when I when I approached John with the lo, low budget and his athleticism was so, like, amazing. Because, you know, we had some other guys who were like, I think we had Mr. Mr. Olymp one of uh, Mr. Universe or something like that. He was really good, but when he yeah. was moving, I was like, "It's too stiff. It doesn't look, yeah. you know, nothing against that his look or his movement." But I really wanted somebody who, who you know, we're going to do a martial art action game. Yeah. Look at this. You really, you know, John. Look, yeah, look, look at, at this. Me. Look at this. He'll kill you. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't even do this when I was in shape. <laughs> so, Oh, and, and too, to credit to, to Tobias, he just let us do what our, oh, he, he wasn't yeah. like, oh, you have to do this. No, he'd be like, John, what do you want to do? And then we'd be like talking, John would look at me and then we'd talk a little bit and I, I would tell John, hey, John, somebody else kind of did that. Think of something else, you know, or, or help him like reach in and John would be like, okay, well, let's do this or that, or, you know, have like the movement like this, you know, so really the characters you know if you look at the movie guys I look and, it, and again we're going to reiterate i love the guys in the movie because they're acting like us and anybody yeah. Yeah. Like us, I suck. You know, they're being right. to us. whether you're an actor in the movie or the second johnny cage or the fifth johnny cage or a cosplayer you are awesome you're yeah. really yeah. really you know yeah no i agree i agree uh you have a comment here brandon says uh, I feel like John Paris will always be the best Jax, in my opinion. There you go. Uh, Representing got the fans Thanks here. You. Thanks a lot. Thanks there a you lot. go. Yeah. Well, that's what I tell him. I said, no, I'm the only Jax. I mean, that's right. Is a copy. <laughs> okay. Do you, <laughs> did you uh, like Michael Jai White's interpretation for the web series? The, uh, oh, yeah. Well, I think when he did that one trailer that didn't go anywhere when he was in the office, I said, now, if I would have had my pick in the beginnings, I didn't know this other guy. I was like, yeah, that is the guy. And yeah. Who can play a Jax, okay, yeah. and pull it off and be totally authentic, yeah. you know, and probably move it in a different direction. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I, you know, yeah, because yeah. I watched all his movies. Right. You know, um, yeah, he's great. I met him. Yeah. I ran into him several times. He's a, he's a great guy, badass. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh oh, we got a ringtone yeah. there. <laughs> no, 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 oh, it's all good. It's all good. That's all good. Man, it's this a, is fun. This is a yeah, fun stream. That's right. We got Prag Magic saying here, uh, this is such a fire stream. That's right. We're having a blast. <laughs> We're having a blast today. And uh, Cryptic Soul made it happen. That's right. He made it happen. So shout out to Cryptic Soul, Killer's Blood, son. Get that, cop, oh, yeah. cop, that, cop that album. Cop that album. Uh, Master Piscina, what you were talking about earlier about a little remix of something in the future project. Are you gonna do you want John in on that too? Oh yeah, I want all the guys from one and two in on it because again, they it's like the, as the creation side, it, they are so heavily in in into that. Yeah. And and again, people really don't know. You know, you gotta sit down and get get to a parish interview and hear him talk about just, you know, himself and his journey and you will see how he really is like Jax is him so uh, and and to all these other people on on it should have like this project that i'm kind of talking about that we'll expose later yeah uh, yeah cryptic we'll keep it on the hush a lot later it, it they are all the all the people from one and two you know because during one and two it was low budget so they yeah. And two, they were they weren't sure of everything, so they just let us do what we did best. You know, we did movement and we did action, so they let us do that. You know, so they really kind of. Uh, I think this thing would be really uh, like a fun project to do, and I think fans would really, really love it. Oh yeah, yeah, they'll love that. Can't disclose it right now, though. <laughs> we'll keep it on the hush. Okay. Uh, Don't worry. Keep me in a loop. Send me a memo. 
Uh, but yeah, yeah. There's definitely some positives to the film, and we talked about that. Uh, we've been all over the place, ranting on the few issues I had, and we talked. But well, we did talk about the positive things. There are positive things here, yeah. and again, the opening action sequence, fire, right? Yep. The end action sequence, fire. Yeah. Straight up Mortal Kombat, boom, right? And again, you got badass moments like this. Come on now. Come on oh, now. Yeah. This, this when this happened, I was screaming in the, in, I was screaming in my living room. I was like, "Yes, finally! Yes, finally!" Uh, but yes, yeah, some of the visuals I did enjoy. I'm sure uh, Master Persina enjoyed this. You know, shots like this with the yeah. flames on Scorpion. I'm sure he enjoyed that. Uh, there was a shot where I like that one shot before uh, Sub Zero and Jax fight for the first. Well, they, when they fight, uh, there's like that long away shot where Sub Zero's just standing there. And Jax yep. is looking at him, and then Sub Zero baits Jax to go in the building. And when he goes in the building, all the ice and the the yeah. snow that was around yeah. him kind of follow him in there. There was some good, there there was some definitely some good uh, visual cues in here, despite That's the right. other, despite some of the other issues I had. But yeah, go ahead. I enjoyed that scene because it showed Jax's true, like, so what if this guy had him outgunned and had magic? Yeah, yeah he didn't care. No, he didn't freaking care. He was going to, you know what? So what if you have the magic Wonderton twin power? He was going to, he went at it. You know what I mean? It wasn't like the other, you know, like, like, oh my God, I, you know, I got to freaking look for my magic bracelet. It was, <laughs> that was a really good thing. <laughs> it was a scene early on. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 It was a good scene. So this is what I, so, so we, so overall, we already talked about our, our thoughts of the film. Um, so for the sequel, I want to hear what you guys want. What do you guys want for the sequel? I want less of generic. I want <laughs> I want less of him. Just kill him I off. want I want more Jack's screen time. I want more of the defenders of the Earth realm, the other characters. I want more screen time for them. Uh, that's what I want. Uh, more fighting. I want I don't want because supposedly Joe Taslam, who we all love here, and he's a badass. He's great. Supposedly he signed up for four sequels. My fear is they're going to milk this prequel journey, and then the fourth movie is going to finally be the tournament. That that'll be a huge mistake. Uh, Master Parrish, do you think the second movie should be okay? We're in the tournament now. Let's go. What do you think? I would say probably, yeah. I would say yeah. Toward the end of the second one, should or right in the middle, they should develop it once they find Johnny Cage. You know, right. that's going to be a big thing. When they find him and his in his whole persona, the Hollywood thing, if they do it right, yes. Uh, uh, and at the same time, have another other shots of, say, me and uh, uh, Liu Kang. We have to still fight off, and we still have to work with Raiden and all of them. Okay, and then flash back to Johnny Cage and Cole trying to get him to come and join and tell him about the symbol and all of that stuff. Then Sonya would probably show up, and then then you start bringing in the other characters as well. Then all of a sudden, like something happens where no, you have to go now because now is the tournament. Yes, yeah, I I agree. I'm, I'm all for that. I agree with that. Yeah. Cryptic Soul. Well, since they jobbed out Goro in the the backyard to basket basket weaving armor generic <laughs> character, um, do you think now they're just Goro's not here. Let's bring in Kintaro or Motaro. What do you think? I reckon they should actually bring in someone more badass in the second one. Okay. You know, like you think uh, Shiva? Would they do Shiva, or what do you think? They they got to bring in a heavy. They're gonna bring it. They they gonna bring in more ninjas. So like you know, like someone like Rain or Ermac. Yeah. You know, smoke. New yeah. bring in the, or bring in the cyborgs as well, like you know, like Cyrax. Yeah, they got to bring Cyrax because they already killed off uh, Cabal. Um, uh, I mean, Cybot. Right, right. So, so that means he has somebody has to replace him, which would probably be Cyrax. Right. I was already predicting that one. And well, then, of course, you know, they're going to resurrect or some kind of way uh, Sub Zero, either his son going to come out of nowhere, mm. you know. Yeah, because I mean, they, because I mean, Sub Zero, Sub Zero is one of the main characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just doesn't die off; he comes back. Right. And then but the way the way Shang Tsung said it, he said, "Yeah, you put them in the ground now, but they rise somewhere else." 
See, he okay. left that open. So that means that somewhere they're going to they bring him back some kind of way. But okay. I, reckon, I reckon in the second one, if they actually put in too much character, it's going to be sort of like Roy Rumble type shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't right. want to I mean, you just want certain key fights and leading up to the tournament, you know, getting that. Because gets, remember, they're going to be developing Johnny Cage the whole time. That's what it's all going to be about, develop him and get his ego out of his ass and all that good shit. <laughs> <laughs> if they do it right. Okay. Right, right, right. Well, you know, after the second movie, you know, we all got to come back and talk about it. Oh, you know, yeah. we got we got to do oh, it. Yeah, I got yeah, I got to. Yeah. I got to hear Master Pesina's take on what they did with Johnny Cage. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Did you get excited, uh, Master Pesina, when you when they hinted at, oh, let's go find Johnny Cage? Did you ever be like, all right, all right? Uh, you know, I've, I've learned not to get, you know, I, I made sure that for this movie that I went into it completely open. I nice. avoided all the trailers, which was really freaking hard. I avoided all the spo spoilers because, too, as John can tell you, you know, us as being the characters – yeah, yeah. And, uh, people like message us and show us, try to show us stuff all day long, every day when we're on social media. You know, have you seen this? Have you seen that? Have you, hey, watch this. So for me, only, all that now it's just like, oh, let's just see what happens. Only thing I, only thing I watched was that seven minute one because people was like, Danny said they were sending me stuff every day, Instagram. <laughs> I mean, they were trying to hit me up on Twitter, which I never used. I mean, like, no, no, I am busy. I know just, and then, you know, when does the movie come out? Then it got delayed, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, then all of a sudden the servers crashed the night it was supposed to be released. Oh. So, and that hurt me because I was like, look, I, I was supposed to be in bed two and a half hours ago. <laughs> yeah, but if you get up at five o'clock in the morning, you're, you're yeah. Like, I mean, I was fighting this yeah. table. I'm like, really, really? Okay. And then where is it at? You know what? I go to sleep. I catch it whenever. You know, right? right I watched gotcha. it. I watched it by myself on a Saturday. I'm like, all right, all right, yeah. just me. You know. And and like John, like Danny said, I went in with open mind. You know, I wanted to see exactly how they were doing it, how they were recreating a storyline, how they were doing a development. Because I knew right. it wasn't going to be a tournament. You know, otherwise it'd have been a one and done. You know what I'm saying? You know, but right. I, I said if they do it right, then I mean this thing can last. You know, it can be like a Fast and Furious franchise if yeah. they do it right. I think that with the Johnny Cage character, they should not go into deep character development. Not yet. Yeah. They should show him a quarter of the movie, get whatever you can out of it, and to, and to escalate the tournament, start the journey to the tournament right away. Yeah. And don't have okay. the end of the tournament, but have one third of the tournament in that first one and just leave a few cliffhangers or something like that. Yeah. But two... Be like, you know, I, I have no idea because it is the world of Mortal Kombat and not, I'm not John Tobias, but have like the God be like, guess what? You you kill Kung Lao under false pretenses. You're not supposed to do that. You have to return him. And then they can be like, oh, okay, since I'm returning Cage, then you have to return Goro. Yeah. You know, like, you ever see that uh, Dave Chappelle thing where they're, where they're, have the racist picking their... Oh, their yeah. <laughs> Their comedian thing. We take this guy. We, you know, the Jewish people took the the Riz, you know. But you know, you know, we're gonna give you this guy or that guy. So they should be like show the gods as being gods. Because guess what? If you're a god, you can grant life or take life. Being a god, you cannot, you cannot take away their power. But they're so egotistical. You could be like, oh, you're not allowed to do that. Okay, I won't because it really doesn't affect them, and they really don't care about you. So. You know, hmm. it could be like, hey, okay, you give us Kung Lao, we'll give you Goro back. Or you give us Kung Lao and we'll, uh, oh, yeah, I'll give you Kung Lao, but I want Melina and Goro back. Okay, I'll give you that, but you have to get rid of, you know, Cole's uh, bracelet. We're <laughs> 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 about to give him some real yeah. power. Yeah, give, give him you know, some real powers. But yeah. The thing is, don't worry about story. You already wasted a whole thing for me. It was like for the story. Yori kind of didn't give us fighting to make a story, so you don't get the story anymore. You got to go to fighting and have the drama a little bit less to pull me in for number three and four. And that's right, what I got gotcha. you. 
Balls yep. to the walls. We're not fucking around. Badass yeah. action with a little cherry on top. Violent fatalities. Yeah. We are there. We will be there. We will be screaming in the theater or screaming at home. We'll be like, hell, fuck yes. This is what we came to see. So hopefully we get that in the finger in the in the future. So fingers crossed uh, yeah. for yeah. the sequels. So, uh, okay. but yeah, Miz, Miz. Going back to the Miz, they won't cast Scott Atkins. I love Scott Atkins, but they won't cast him because Hollywood will think he's old. Uh, they'll go with, you know, Hollywood old, which is sad, but, uh, I love Scott Atkins though, but I just, I know how Hollywood is most likely to be like, ah, he's too old. Let's get somebody younger and more, more, more popular. Now the Miz has done some action movies. I have not seen those like the Marine sequels. He has done some action and some fighting in there. So I don't know. I mean, he wouldn't be my first pick. But I don't know. I mean, he's got the character down because he is he is kind of like like you based off of you, uh, yeah. Master Pesina. Uh, I just I'm I'm curious about martial arts. That's like, can he do martial arts? You, you, can, know, you know, if stunt you double, stunt double him. Fuck it. No, if he's a good choreographer, you could kind of hide it just for a moral combat in certain okay. situations. I don't know about greatly. My concern with the Miz is, you know, he. Is he willing to let go of that professional wrestling career to go do this one or two movies? Because there's no guarantee that after, right. after he's done with these two movies, he's not going back to pro wrestling. You know, they're right. Gonna be, That's he's true. He's going to be too expensive for them. So Plus, what, he's got his reality show too. Yeah, I, and he's got that. WB, hmm. WB will control everything. So does he right. have a, a reality show? Only if WB says so. Does he have right. only, so he's got to really think like he wants to be it, but you know, when you really look at it, you're going to base your whole career on this one movie with this yeah. one actor who's only done two movies. Right, right. Gotcha. You so know? quick spec, uh, quick speculation. Uh, we know Sub-Zero's not dead, right? He's going to be back because Joe Taslam signed on for sequels. So he's going to be back at some form. Twin brother? <laughs> <laughs> or he's gonna he's just not fully dead. Because then Scorpion didn't really double tap. He didn't double tap. You know, he kinda did the fire and walked out. So uh, you know, you never know. I, we're we're expecting Sub Zero to return. Uh your theory earlier, Master Pesina, about Kano not being dead. Probably he's not he's he's gonna come back. Probably like you said, he's gonna have the face shield now, right? Oh, they gotta bring him back. Yeah, yeah. He saved the whole first movie. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, that's right. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, any other theories? I think that I maybe heard Kung that, Lao and, and Goro heard, might come back. I heard Kung Lao is coming back because the actor hinted that he's coming. Oh, back. okay. So, and I think rightfully so. It is Kung Lao, and they got to bring him back in some form. That's yeah. why I'm thinking about the whole trading thing or the okay. whole avoiding thing because. It is a tournament. You have to abide by the rules, and they are gods. And people could say, like, oh, well, how can you bring them back for the dead? Because they're fucking gods. Gods can right. do whatever they want. They don't have any limitation. You know right. what I mean? They don't. So in the, no, you're only, right. Yeah. They're only doing this for their pleasure. Right. Not really, the world, you know, the mortal world hang, hangs, hangs in balance, but has nothing to do with the world of gods because that's their domain. So, right. you know, for Good me, point. really remember that. So I think they'll bring some characters back and do some, hopefully not a lot, because right. too, maybe they'll make it like the Marvel Universe and have 12, 14, 18 movies, which yeah. Yeah. for them all work. I paid money for uh, several times for all the Marvel movies because they were so good. Oh, yeah. You know, so yeah. they, step, they messed up on the, they tripped on the first step to take a big step forward. There you go. I agree. Uh, Master Parrish, who do you want to see Jax fight in the next movie? Don't make a difference as long as they do his signature moves. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they contact you for uh, Yeah, you they, they might want to. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they should. They should, you know. They should throw us in. I think what they should do in number two is or three is sprinkle us the original characters in as cameos. Or have right. have Jax meet Jax. You know, yeah, I'm all I'm all for that. Yeah, I'm at a bar and something he comes up, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know, something like that. You know, yeah, I, I I can dig it. I like that. I definitely like that. So yeah, fingers crossed uh, uh, for uh, the next one. Balls to the wall. More badassity abounds. I want to be there and be like, woo! That's what I'm talking about. Scratches. 
the action itch. That's right. I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, you, you got me more. Despite all the issues I had with the first movie, you got me excited for the sequel. <laughs> you got me excited. I'm all like, yeah, come on, baby. You know what is more of a we're rooting for them. Yeah, like yeah. the fan base is there. We're all in their corner to uh, to to improve and make it even better film. Uh, but there are a lot of fans of this one, which is which is awesome. So I I, I know John's got to go in a second. We'll probably wrap it up in a minute here. But I did a quick poll of the the movie dojo army. And uh, just for fun, and check this out. This is this is about right. Boom! So look at how close people absolutely loved and hated the movie. <laughs> look at how close it is. But this for over five hundred and forty votes here. Uh, overall, everyone could pretty much agree that uh, they thought the movie was entertaining, but it has problems. So that sounds about right. That sounds about yeah. right. They get, yeah, uh, they get, like I said, they gotta, you know, they, they shouldn't be afraid to reach out. You know, if you're gonna mm-hmm. make it big, you gotta realize your expectations, reach out and exceed your expectations. You know, yes. so, you know, yes. don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to be great. As yes. Crypto, as crypto yeah. school could tell you, do not be afraid to be the best. That's, exactly, that's right. Man. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yeah, so all for the sequels. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, we get actually more. Actual Mortal Kombat. Hopefully we get that for the next one. And uh, awesome, if you guys chat, Movie Dojo Army is watching right now, I highly recommend the animated film, which is fantastic. Uh, Mortal Kombat uh, Legends Scorpion's Revenge is phenomenal. If you have not seen this, make sure you guys check that out as well. And don't forget to, uh, you can always find these guys on Facebook and uh, follow John and uh, uh, Daniel and Anthony, that's right, and Cryptic Soul, son, that's right, and you can follow me as well. Uh, but these guys have paved the way, these three masters of badassity, have paved the way for what we got now. And we're very thankful uh, for, that's right, let's do it right, yeah, very thankful. Look at, oh, look at that, see, I got one vein to John's 50. John's got like 60 veins right there. Uh, it's going it's to take a while for me to cap, catch up to you, buddy. Uh, but thank you all for hanging out with us tonight. Movie Dojo Army. Don't forget tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time for the next Versus episode, Rick Myers is going to be here as well as Frank Jang and many others. And we're going to talk about Police Story, and it's going to go up against Project A. That's right. That's tomorrow. Which movie will will win? Join the debate. 6 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Two Jackie Chan classics. Again, thank you guys for showing up. And don't forget, John, whenever you get free, it looks like you're crazy busy. You're always welcome to come back here. You're always welcome to come back here and talk movies, martial arts, whatever you want to do. Uh, always come back. You're always welcome, as well as Master Bassana, you as well. Always come back and be like, hey, Preston, let's talk about this martial arts movie. I love it. Let's do it. We'll talk about it. This is, this is You guys' is home, right? Crypto right. Soul, it's your home as well. And, of course, got one more shout-out to Marquez. Kung Lao and the Scorpions. Make sure you follow his albums and his work, and as well as cryptic oh, soul yeah. son killer's blood cop that album get that album that's right listen to real rap that's right fuck this mumble shit you know what yeah, i'm saying listen to the right. real <laughs> shit you know what i'm saying exactly. mumble the fuck is that all right <laughs> so i thank all you badasses for watching you guys take care and don't go anywhere uh master persona and cryptic uh but then we know john's gotta go but we see you guys next time take care get over here